from hardest Sonic game ever to easiest Sonic game ever, it's Sonic Chaos. Please, people, it's just a hard hit game. It's time for the third game of the Sonic Game Gear Marathon, Sonic Chaos. Let's see, already ten seconds in where I got first set, but really, because I actually had to get the second vocal and the intro music on the Game Gear version. Because we're playing this on the Master System. Again. For the last time for this marathon, too, because we're going to be doing Triple Trouble and Blast on, on the Game Gear. So, yeah, Sonic Chaos. Be, be, comparing this to the. Comparing the Master System version to the Game Gear version. God damn, this, this game's. Game have a lot of differences. Like, for example, the tile screen is different. Hell of a lot different in the Game Gear version. The character's sweat screen is probably more detailed in the Game Gear version. And look at that. The sun. The, we well, don't got a highlight on sun. It, it flashes with the background. We, we highlight on tails. Even it don't even flash. That's kind of weird. Anyway, with that said, we got our time for the time to get kind of get this game over with. And I decided to pause the game because I was happy to decide because, because the game decided to finally work this time because let's see uh Well I actually tried to start recording this though the, the game froze the, it got, I got to the car car then when it got to the level itself the, the game crashed for some reason and I don't know what <laughs> anyway anyway our first song was pretty much our Green Hill zone for the for the game all the game gets sign case out of this so this is probably like more. It has a lot of rings, I'll say that much. And for those who played, you know, for those who have played the Game Gear version, you you probably already know that music sounds a little different. Different. Sign Chaos is chock full with a lot of music differences. Anyway, you see me try to collect rings because this is how you get to the special stage in this game, ladies and gentlemen. If you collect 100 rings, that's at Sun and you you get teleported to the special stage. You playing with Tails? <laughs> Buff that he can't even go to the special stages. So Tails is pretty much considered easy mode in a sense. Anyway, we got 100 rings to type our first special stages. And just like Sun one and two, I am go I am do get get this game good ending. Come shop all the special stages and the good ending. Here we here we What you saw me pick up in the stage area was one new Sun new power was the, the rocket sneakers. The rocket sneakers pretty much let Sun fly, fly in the air, air at great speed. Almost, I think it's almost as fast as running speed. And it lasts about like a good 10 seconds. Here it lasts, lasts forever. Anyway, this is a great place to like, grab rings and whatnot to get more extra lives. You just gotta keep going with it. Just travel to all the to the right until you get to chaos, Sam. So let's put yourself straight for a special stage. Every time you complete a special stage, you, are, you get to continue. And that little chaos animal gene you heard it only plays in the Master System version, not the Gear version. I wonder why. And going to the special stage, you automatically transport you to the next stage. All right, and. There's our power sneaker, but guess what? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the power sneaker doesn't fucking work in this game. Not here, but in the... It works in the Game Gear version, guys, I'll use it everything. But here, nope, it's just there. Yeah, I don't know what to say about it. <laughs> so, I pretty much got... Since you probably see me... Since you already saw me go to the first special stage, I probably might, might as well tell you how I'm gonna be handling... I'm doing the chaos animal. Uh, get all the chaos animals as quick, quick as I can because going back, going back on recording this thing, this is probably the first sign game in the entire marathon I did in test one. Why me? Well, you'll see why soon because this game is really not all that damn hard. If anything, y'all, this is the one I recommend to people who's trying to get into the sign game here series. It ain't really serious no more, there's only five fucking games. Well, platformer games, they like, there's seven more. But we'll do them another day. Not now. Not now. <laughs> so yeah, for like, pretty much for the first half of the game, you're gonna pretty much see me try to correct, correct me so I can go to the bonus stage. I mean, special stage, sorry. Slip the tongue. 
Yeah, if I compare it to Sonic Chaos, I did you play Sonic 2. God damn, it's this though. Fuck a side we leave when it comes to difficulty. Cause I'm right. Sorry, right, too. Sonic Chaos does not hold on to the bullshit trial and error gameplay that the second one has. Here it's just pretty much. Nah. Uh, I say it's more simple. Simple. I can't find the. Due to the fact that I get top of the stage, I can't get up there, and that was something you need to play okay, uh, this certain game. It actually ta calculates how fast you're going throughout the entire level. You know, since I'll take my sweet ass little time, I was up, I was at the six hundred percent. I think I'm gonna break like nine hundred ninety-nine on one of the stages later. Anyway, we have our boss station. I barely get bored that spike. And I like Sonic too. The trip, the pathway to the boss is much more simple than what's here. And now we have our first boss. Where you should never, unless you're under 3 years old or OB 80, you should never get hit by. All you gotta do is just roll into him. Let's see, that boss had a name. Let's see, what was the name of that damn boss? The Great Bane Moksa Go. God damn, that's a mouthful. Which is pretty much an upgrade version of an enemy you saw during that stage, Bane Mocha. Anyway, with that said, we got Giga uh, Rapolis. Wait a minute, the, hey, wait a minute, it smells different. If the game get version, it'll spell Giga Polis, and then now it just got what? L O to, to it. That's strange. Uh, Sonic Retro, let's see. Sonic Retro says that the real name of the stage is the game gear name Giga, Giga Polis. Anyway, with that being said, Giga Polis is kind of like. Background wise, it's more of a star starlight zone. And, and now it's time for another music difference. Uh, those you who play the Game Gear version, you could. This is probably one of the biggest music changes you in the entire game because the Master System got its own track for this for this stage as opposed to the Game Gear version, which I actually like more than than this one, the Master System one. Anyway, um, well, fun fact, that's, that, that Ruth Ruth you saw right there, that's actually the first time, well, you know, you actually go from right and start down. That's the, that's the first game you gave that actually incorporated. That guy had that disability spike, well, so, well, I saw that on my rings. How do I go up? <laughs> anyway, that bridge right there, I don't know if I'm going to get to it or not. No, I won't. I just now remembered. Maybe next stage. Because it's time for the next bonus stage. Special stage. Why well, keep going to damn bonus stages? Anyway, here we... Special stage number two. I wish you got to the, the third zone this, of the game by, by the time. Science actually introduced to the po Pogo Spring, which make... Which helps Sonic jump more higher, but, but be careful when you ride that spring. If Sonic hits a wall, he he act like he got got hit by Emmy and just suffer be a go back and be a knockback and lose the spring. Uh, what the the man you saw to the left over there for a brief second was actually a, 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 a stop timer, which pretty much stops time, so you could so now you can pretty much take your time in, the, in that said special zone. Anyway, if you, anyway, I should, especially stage number two, if you just go stay to the, if you take the right path, you'll go all the way to the chaos, and if you take the left path, you'll, it reaches to extra life. Anyway, with that being said, it's time for, time for the next stage. Okay, that, that's the bridge I'm talking about. If you ain't going at, if Sonic ain't going at, at top speed when he goes over that bridge, uh, Sonic's going down. Good news it, good news for us, uh, Sonic, good news for us, there ain't no bottomless pit, right, on the stage. That won't be the case in the rare zone where it, it's pretty, it's pretty much mandatory that you get this bridge station right here, right, look. Oh yeah, also return from Sonic CD, seeing that this is pretty much the game get counterpart of Sonic CD, is the pillow move. 
Do the super peel out, boo. Sonic is pretty much. Sonic's pretty much invisible when he's trying to wind up. Wind it up. And just like the. And just like the super peel out of Sonic CD, it's pretty, it charges up quicker more than the spin dash. Alright, let's see if I the super peel out kind of useless in this game because you can pretty much charge up the spin dash quick. Now we have special stage number three, and this one is a complete fucking joke. If anything, it's more of a time waster, per se. Because this is pretty much what you're doing for the first 30 minutes of this special stage. Hey, that, I think this part where the guys, this part where the Santa Bell probably got the influence of. Oh, yeah, this is all we did is hold up right here, and that's how you get the chaos animal. If you didn't hold up, you'll have to... If you would have kept going well, you'll... you pretty much be wasting more time, but you could probably... get that extra life. That's all way at the end. All way at the dead end over there. Just, let's see, uh, and I don't like the other side game, but you get over 50... 50,000 points, uh, you get... you get free continue. When Science starts out the game, he he has no no continues, and we we play as tails, he has three, three continues to start out with. And I don't know how. Yeah, I think he also starts out with five lives too. Yeah, he starts out with five lives. Anyway, we had the, this game bump, and now it's time for the set bosses to stay game. But first, invisibility. Now I get to wreck this thing, right? Uh, nope, not really, because the invisibility in this game lasts a hell of a lot shorter. And what you just, and what you listen to now is a glitch, because if, if you enter the boss, if you enter the boss, well, invisibility activated. The the, the mute. Once the invisibility ended, the the boss music will stop in and just play the regular music. I'm doing pretty good right now. I got, got five cars and rules. And I'm pretty, oh, now I'm almost stuck by star racking up in lines. Anyway, with that being said, that's the end of part one of Sonic Chaos. See you part two for tomorrow. And trust me, I'll, I apologize for the, sh for the length of that video.